everyone my name is dr valak chavla and today we'll be doing a case study on canalis sinuosus so first we'll do the arch marking this is the basic arch marking for 10 by 5 fov maxilla medium fov maxilla so coming to the first nerve tracing of nasopalatine nerve or the incisive nerve canal okay approximately we'll do the nerve tracing okay this was of uh, incisive nerve canal okay so we'll mark it as blue color Okay, this is 1 mm thickness. 1 mm thickness, it is not clearly visible. So, we'll just increase the thickness to 8 mm, okay? So, if you want the visibility of the nerve canals, just get this line towards the nerve canal in the CMPR axial, okay? So, you'll get the visibility of the nerve canal in this. Okay, so, this line which is the radiolucent line, this is canalis sinuosus. Okay, so, you can just increase the thickness to... Uh, say around 15 mm okay for better visibility of teeth as well as the nerve canal okay so we'll just increase the sharpness of the image now so now you'll get a little bit more clear visibility of canalis sinuosus okay so this is canalis sinuosus if you want you can do the tracing also so basically canalis sinuosus is nothing but neurovascular canal a branch of the nerve of inferior uh, infraorbital canal through which the anterior superior alveolar nerve passes it then leans medially in the course between the nasal cavity between the nasal cavity and the maxillary sinus and then it reaches the pre-maxilla in the canine and the incisor region okay so somewhere in this region it will end so basically it starts in the infraorbital region and then it leans medially to a, between the nasal cavity and the maxillary sinus and then it reaches the uh, between canine and the incisor region if you want you can do the tracing also so basically somewhere it starts here and then cleans down and goes down to a, between the canine and the premolar region sorry canine and the inc uh, incisor region you can just give this marked as red color okay similarly if you want you can the tracing you can do the tracing in the anterior region also okay you just have to arrange the lines along the long axis of the canal okay so we'll start tracing the canalis sinuosus okay so slowly slowly you just have to go down okay now you can just have a look at the coronal cross section you can just see this line which is there besides the nasopalatine nerve canal this line which is passing by radiolucent line okay so that is your nerve canal so if you want you can just decrease the thickness of this sorry sharpness of this Okay, I've just reduced the sharpness, but the visibility is also reduced. So you can just keep it to normal sharpness and now start tracing it. Okay, so somewhere between the incisor and the canine region and then it goes up. Then in between the nasal palate and nasal flow and the premaxilla region between and it ends somewhere near the sinus region. Okay, so somewhere it will be visible that side okay so basically this anatomical landmark is very important so because the implants are usually placed in this region so one of the reason where dental implant fails in the anterior maxilla is because of this so basically it has to be taken care of during extraction as well as during implant placement otherwise there are chances of pain or peristachia seen in follow-ups okay so here's everything about canalis sinuosus can just mark this as red color okay one of the basic landmark can can be used while reporting the anterior cases okay so as seen in the 3d volume rendering so we'll do one more case study of canalis sinuosus in a small fov scan in next few videos okay thank you